who's on the other tier? Who are we not paying attention to that's out there that uh, has a ton of people chasing after and can actually be a difference maker, do you think, yeah. Jason? Well, I mean, n- now that Patrick Corbin has signed uh, and you know, once Machado and Harper signed, I think we're definitely then ne- into the next tier. But Michael Brantley uh, is, a, is a really intriguing player. Um, Jay, you know, the starting pitching market starting to move. I think Jay Happ will sign pretty quickly. He's probably the next domino to fall there. Uh, and then, you know, you got all the Boris clients who will just hang around hmm. because that's what Scott does. Um, and then the other guy to watch, Craig Kimbrell. Uh, Craig Kimbrell is one of the greatest closers who ever lived, not coming off a great October, looking for six years and, and probably historic money. I don't know if he gets that. But, I mean, that's a difference-making player. What are the Diamondbacks doing, Jason, here? I mean, Corbin winds up uh, going to the Nationals, and Goldschmidt gets traded to the Cardinals. What's going on with Arizona here? Well, uh, I mean, it, I'm, I'm sure this is discouraging for anyone who cares about that team. But I, I also think it's safe to say that had they not won as many games as they won in 2017 and – you know, and made it to the postseason. Then they would have done this a year ago, but didn't feel like they could do it then. But th- this has been this has been in the wind, hovering over this entire season. Uh, we knew they weren't going to be able to re-sign Patrick Corbin, and it was clear that if they got a deal they liked, they would trade Paul Goldschmidt. Um, they might not be done, right? There's there, there's certainly other pieces there. They'd love to move Grinky. I think they would move Robbie Ray. Um, I mean, for a team that was in first place for five months, this is discouraging for people in Arizona and for the industry as a whole, but it's where we are. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.